That was so cool. So uh, Dan mentioned that the Cuyahoga River burned in 1969. It actually had caught fire 13 times. The last was in 69. The last time in 69, the fire lasted for 30 minutes. There were no photos taken, none. So the article that ran with that was from a photo from 1954. But because the Cuyahoga River was so polluted, that spurred the Clean Water Act that happened a couple years later. So there's some good things that happened from bad events. And then to tie everything back up to beer, because <laughs> it's my job. So Great Lakes Brewing Company in Cleveland makes a great pale ale called Burning River. And then um, on, on, uh, um, just to let people know, I, I lost Mark. He's getting married in a couple weeks, right? Mark, getting married in a couple weeks? And interesting, one of his board members is a, an environmental scientist. Her name is Nia Rivers. Is that, I don't, that's, I don't know how you recruited somebody for the Riverway with the name of Rivers. That's pretty good. Just a couple of reminders, a little business. Don't forget, exhibitors are here. They've set up great things, um, good questions to have for them, good interactions, networking with them. So please, as you go throughout the day, get over to the exhibitors. Um, also, did my husband mention there were door prizes? Okay, so the fellowship will be a crooked handle and you have to be there for the fellowship and that's where you could win a door prize. Must be present to win, exactly. Next we have Leanne Stewart. She is the executive director of the Miami County Visitors and Convention Bureau and she is also a member of the Riverway Marketing Committee. Please welcome Leanne to the stage. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Cheryl. Welcome to Miami County and beautiful downtown Piqua. The Miami County Visitors Bureau is happy to be a sponsor of today's event and a supporter of the Riverway from the beginning. We value the relationship that we have built with Dan and Sarah and other destinations, organizations, and businesses along the Riverway. All of you know that to really make a difference in our communities and in our region, we must work together. Collaboration and teamwork are key, which is why I love this partnership so much. We are extremely blessed to have the Great Miami River flowing right through Miami County. And much like all of you, we celebrate it each and every day. Outdoor recreation continues to be a driver of visitation to Ohio. According to recent research conducted by Tourism Economics, 33% of Ohio day trippers and 42% of Ohio overnight visitors participate in outdoor activities. Not only does the Great Miami Riverway, er, excuse me, sorry, not only does the Great Miami Riverway promote outdoor opportunities along the river and the recreation trail, but the Riverway focuses on finding ways through marketing and development opportunities to connect river and trail users with our communities, our history and our culture, our festivals and events, and our local businesses. So at this time, please enjoy the Great Miami Riverway's newest video. Welcome to the Great Miami Riverway, where adventure meets tranquility. Embark on a journey filled with endless possibilities. Kayak through gentle rapids, explore scenic biking trails, or reel in your next big catch. Create lasting memories with loved ones as you picnic by the water's edge and soak in the natural beauty that surrounds you. Immerse yourself in the rich history and vibrant culture of our communities. From museums to festivals, there's always something exciting happening along the Great Miami Riverway. Discover the magic of the Great Miami Riverway today. Plan your adventure and experience the perfect blend of serenity and excitement. Visit GreatMiamiRiverway.com to learn more. Thanks, Lane. That was great. Uh, now I'd like to introduce Chris Schmeising, my friend, to the stage. He is the economic and community development director for the city of Piqua and an all-around good guy. 
So he's going to come to the stage and talk about the walking tours and how we're going to work that out. So real quick, while they give me the mic, I want to thank Jim and Cheryl for accepting the invite to, to MC today. To, yeah. <laughs> two, two tremendous ambassadors for our community. So we're very grateful for their participation and being a part of this. So we have, as the mayor alluded to, we've got some really exciting things happening in our community. And we've got some entrepreneurs who are investing in some, uh, some of the historic buildings that uh, ooze character and are ready for what's next. Two projects complete and one in, in the works that you're going to see, and the third is the Lock 9 Park Space. So this is that opportunity for you all to stretch your legs. When we were planning the agenda, um, we talked about years past, they did a walking tour at the end, and, and no one came back for the, for the closing ceremony and such. So uh, we're going to squeeze it in now. We're going to try to do it with as little chaos as possible. Uh, but we're running about 20 minutes behind, so we're going to try to truncate a little bit and get you back here as close to 11.30 as we can. It might be more like 11.45. The way this is going to work is we've got four tour guides stationed out in front of the building, one over here by Toma Jewelers, two on the square. Uh, one is on the opposite side by the Don Gentelli statue. He's a, a flying ace from our community. And one is out in front of the building here by the William McCulloch statue. William McCulloch was a congressman from Piqua who was instrumental in the passage of the Civil Rights Bill. Um, so we didn't get numbers on your badges. Um, I'll blame Sarah. She took, took responsibility for the badge fiasco. Um, but no, that's on us. So we're going to just very unscientifically here put you in groups of four. So you guys over here are the ones. You guys are the twos, threes, and fours, right? So as you go down here, uh, these guys will shout out, hey, I'm the one, I'm the two, I'm the three, I'm the four. Just self-regulate, self-distribute so we get uh, some equally sized groups. Our uh, host locations are prepared to provide you with a little tour of their facility, make a few remarks about their investment in the location, the history of the property, and why uh, the placemaking initiative in PICWA is something that they wanted to be a part of. So super excited to share with you some of the cool things happening. The, way, the one rule here is you have to give me a 30-second head start to the stairs because I've got to get to lock nine and present over there. So before you all crush that, uh, we've got a stairwell and an elevator. And then on the way back, two of the tour guides are going to bring two groups up the freight elevator in the back and the stairwell back there so we can kind of spread out the, the jam, the, uh, the roadblocks. Road uh, and then finally, if there's anybody with any uh, mobility assistance needs, see Bev over here, and, and we've got some accommodations for that as well. I miss anything. Okay, I'm off. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> okay, last announcement. You do need to be back in your seats after your tour because how many of you are a Taylor Swift fan? <laughs> see those Easter eggs on the table? Get it? There's something special right before lunch, so you better get back in here. That's all I'm saying. Enjoy your tours. <laughs>